Today we are going to show you how to assemble the backstop of a base type gearbox. The supplies that you will need include the backstop kit that comes with the housing, cap, clutch, shim gasket, bolts, two snap rings, and the clutch key. There's also the snap ring pliers, Permatex Forma gasket, and a drill with a wrench adapter. When an optional backstop is to be used with a shaft mounted gear drive and has not been factory installed, it should be assembled to the unit prior to mounting the unit on the driven shaft. You must measure the shims by laying the micrometer flat on the face of the gear drive housing. Take the housing and twist the micrometer as far as it goes until you can't tighten it anymore to hit the face. Before we put the housing inside, place the thick side of the snap ring inside of the keyway. You will need to use the Permatex Forma Gasket sealer and put it on both of the sides. Grab the shims that you previously measured, then grab the backstop housing and place it over the shims. Grab the screws and loosely screw in to set the shims in place. Grab the clutch. Make sure you have the key or nothing will work properly. Please note, direction of rotation indicated by the arrow on the backstop to allow shaft rotation in that direction. The arrow will tell you whether or not it goes clockwise or counterclockwise. In this application, it calls for clockwise. Since the arrow is on this face, we will face it down. Insert key into keyway of clutch. The clutch key should match up to the gear face keyway. This should be easy to go in without hitting it too hard with your hammer. Do not use excessive force. Then push it down with your hand, take out the safeguard, push it under the line to make it room for the snap ring. Grab your pliers to pick up the snap ring. Sometimes it is finicky, but it will eventually fit right in. Remove the bolts. You will then need to apply more Permatex and grab the cap cover to seal it to the face of the gearbox. Make sure you have Permatex on both the cap cover and the face. And start to reinsert the bolts. Everything should easily line right up. Turn the input shaft by hand to ensure that it locks in the desired direction and rotates freely in the opposite direction without excessive end play. Never use an EP additive oil with a backstop because the enhanced lubrication properties of EP oils may cause the backstop to slip. Backstops may not be used for people moving and have a maximum overrunning speed of 1800 RPM. Indexing, jogging, or ratcheting is not permitted. Do not attempt to disassemble or service the backstop when it is under power or under load. Remove or block the load so it will not move prior to servicing the unit. Always follow lockout procedures to prevent activation of the prime mover when servicing the unit.